involved with, with video games in video games development? So I've been in the business for a long time, uh, about 20, almost 24 years. And so back when I was first getting started, uh, it wasn't as difficult. I don't think there were as many people that were trying to get jobs in video games. And so it was a little bit easier than it is today. Um, but I got involved because I had a friend who was a programmer and he had just started working for a company called Access Software and they were doing games that had a lot of story and he felt like they needed someone who was a good writer and he knew that I had done a lot of writing uh, when I was in school and so he called me up and said hey do you want to give this a shot and I did and I loved it and everybody was happy with my work and so that's how I got started. How different was it, for example, if you compare it to writing short stories or novels to writing video games? Very different. Um, to be a good writer is the same across, so you have to have a good ear for dialogue, you have to have the creativity to make interesting characters and um, have humor and things like that. But the, the structure of writing is so different between a short story and a video game. The video game you always have to be thinking about how the gameplay interacts with the story and how you tell it and that's the biggest challenge. You are writing isn't just uh, just some work for the game. Yeah, there are there are a lot of scenes that work very well in movies and books that just don't work well in games because a game is interactive and if you force a player to sit and watch something for a really long time without them having any input they lose interest and so some scenes that work really really well in another type of, of medium just don't work in a video game. Okay, you also both have to watch your own creations in a critical way, right? Oh yes. Okay, uh, what would you suggest to people that have problems in doing that? They think their story is awesome, uh, it's incredible, <laughs> um, but in fact maybe it isn't. I think it's great to have confidence. You need to have confidence to be a writer because you're going to put a lot of your personal feelings in that story and if people criticize it, it's very hard for a lot of people. But that's the way it is. You have to accept that. And, and in order for you to grow as a writer, you have to learn from your mistakes and be willing to admit that you make mistakes. And the only way you're gonna make mistakes or, or know you're making mistakes is if you let other people read your writing and give you feedback, really, really honest feedback. And if you can't take that feedback constructively, if every time someone says, oh, I don't like what you're doing in the story, and you go, you're wrong, you don't understand what I'm trying to do, you're never gonna get better as a writer. It's about listening to what other people have to say and being open to their criticism. Thanks, Marky. Yeah. And um, well, the character is very similar to Humphrey Bogart. Now let's uh, talk about uh, cliches. How do you manage cliches, for example, how to write something that seems archetypical but, uh, with something or, uh, with an original factor? Well, with Tex Murphy, we always wanted to make sure that he was someone you could relate to. And so, in a way, he's almost a fanboy of classic detectives. I don't think even Tex Murphy thinks that he's really that kind of detective. It's just that he loves them so much he wants to be like them. And so that's the difference, is the cliché is if he really believed he was a, a detective like that. But because he doesn't really believe it and we don't believe it either, it's, it's more like a, 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 a funny, sweet approach to it as opposed to just being a, a stale cliché. What's your favorite uh, graphic adventure game from all time? Well, if you don't count any of mine, because I think that's, you know, not fair, because I do love Pandora Directive, it's my favorite game that I've worked on. Um, Tim Schafer's games like Grim Fandango to me is, is one of the all-time classic games. And then uh, what, the first game that I really kind of fell in love with in that category was uh, Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, which is a really old one, but I absolutely love that game.